Yo, back out again. I'm back out at. Actually, I've ever done a video here by the old hill bike park over near Waybridge. I've got Matt Gill with me again. But yeah, we're just gonna drop in and do Scary Scarlet to start the day off, and then we end up to the session jump because I've finally brought the slope gear out. I think it should be time to do some tricks, but a bit scared. But, but drop in on this one first and see how it goes. Matt's the local, so I'm gonna follow him. Goggles on. Ready? Two right. little tables. Luckily Matt knows where he's going more than I do. Now the long walk back up again. So come down, I'm gonna set up the GoPro 9 on the tripod and try and get some roosting going on on this camera. On this corner, sorry. But yeah, so set this one up, get back up and film it with Matt quickly. That's fine, he gets a good roost on from time to time. Let's try and get in a good position. Yeah, 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 super wide. stuff and I've just found a gap that I want to try. There's a table that I've stood on here and then I want to go land on this and gap from that second roller across the back of the berm I think. Don't know if it's been done before but it's only one way to find out. You gonna film it for me Matthew? Yeah, got it. Funny little gap. Back of the roller into a different track. Hopefully it's gonna work without a massive case. No way to find out. Oh, that was... Did I get into it or did I case it? It's quite a long way. We made our way over to the uh, dirt jump section, session area at Old Hill. A few little dirt jump lines, there's two. There's main line, which is the far side, and then the tabletop line, which is, it's got a table on it basically. Then they come into these two wooden jumps at the bottom. Need you a little bit of drainage because a bit of a puddle at the bottom of the first lip, the main line. It's the line that I'll probably ride more than the other one. But just a quick drag with the old foot. I should get it to run out a bit better. But yeah, I want to do some tricks on the uh, slope duro. So I've had it set up for ages and haven't done any tricks on it yet apart from a flip. But yeah, these should be pretty prime for it. A few little dirt jumps. Not too big, not too scary. I'm sure they'll be fine. Yeah, I'll get Matt back on the old dad cam and I'll chuck the uh, helmet cam back on and try some tricks and see how they go. But should be all right, I reckon. I think it's quite sick here is they've just got a tipping license. They've just had a massive amount of dirt dropped off. You can see that over there. That's the first shipment of dirt they've had turned up and it's 30,000 tonnes of dirt. And there's a potential of another 300,000 tonnes of dirt to come here, which is actually insane amounts of mud so we'll some massive jumps soon which be cool we basically made basically gonna make the hill bigger than it is 
Hill's not that big here, so they've got enough dirt to make a big hill. That makes sense, which will be sick. And we've got some big stuff, hopefully a little slope style line. And yeah, some bigger jumps for big bikes, so should be rad, but best get this helmet on and get on with trying some tricks. Lovely. It's actually Matt's local bike park, he lives up there. Up there somewhere, there's a church up there somewhere. And he lives up there. Why are you still recording me? <laughs> so in Matt's mind, this is a landing. Looks like just a grassy bank to me. He is the local boy. And now uh, you can do what he wants. So. I've been looking at this jump for about eight, six months to do 360s on an enduro bike and I've never done them, so I may as well get on with it. Ready, Matthew? She came around, bike didn't sound very, like it enjoyed it that much, but... So 360 worked lovely. Came up a little bit short, but it wasn't too bad. I'm gonna try again, go a bit faster. And I might just try a truck driver, just get it over with. Been ironing it up for ages, I see to do it. A little bit scared, should be fine. It's scary because it's older uh, on 29, so it's a big old wagon wheel to get to rotate. Oh. Three did bear, I forgot to do the bar spin. I think I've got enough time though to get it round. Just scary. I might take my hoodie off, I don't want to get a bar caught in the pocket. <sighs> Alright. Win or lose, spin the bars. I grabbed like both hands on brakes before coming back to the bar. I landed like that and came back. That was scary. <gasps> yeah, stoked with that. We wanted to do that for quite a few weeks now. Finally found time to get it done. So scary though with all the bar like brakes and dropper posts and stuff going on. We got it around. But yeah, let's go for a little victory flip to celebrate. Everyone loves a flip. Everyone loves a backflip. The other thing that they've done here as well recently is they've just bought a five ton digger, which is pretty, pretty sick. So we can start building some cool stuff. Me and Matt are gonna try and come up next week, I think, and start building some stuff. Should we go? We're gonna add some different additions to the uh, jump line. And this is kind of my, Matt's little project session area for himself. But yeah, we've got as much dirt as we can ever want. There's a dumper on site as well, so we can actually get some stuff built, which would be quite cool. What do you reckon, a hip, and then a few other little add-ons around here? Few boost the lippy things. Matt likes really steep jumps, then rides downhill bike and moans that he cases things. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, we're gonna head back over to the tracks and ride some of the. Uh, there's a whoop section over there, which are going way too fast and they're really aggressive. And it looks really funny. So yeah, let's go do that. Uh, we've come over from just over there to here. It's actually halfway down the black, and further down we see where Matt stood. There's a whoop section. I'm gonna try and go into it as fast as I physically can and get launched all over the place. Hopefully I'll clear this first jump because it's quite big and I've got pedal a lot, but I want to find out. Oh. Oh. Here they come. We're going to drop in and do one last run. Matt's going to follow me with the chest cam on, see if he can keep up.
Bro, you don't even meet. <laughs> <sighs> right, peace out, and I'll catch you in the next one.